All right, today's video, we are going to show you how to install a shelf floating on your wall and put it right smack dab in the middle. So this is a beautiful piece of wood that Max picked up at one of the local stores. You, you'll see these things popping up all over the place now. Barn wood, exotic wood, wood from Europe. We're getting a lot of European wood coming over here, um, old rail cars and stuff like that. But this is just a big slab of a tree. It's been aged, so it has some lovely color. Doesn't need any finishing, all right? We just leave it and let lie. But what we wanna do is put it on the wall just below our TV here so that we can put our sound bar and maybe a couple of the pieces of equipment on there. It'll work out really well. So the secret here, this room has been done very, um, very symmetrical. So we do have a center line and that's what the tape represents. That's my center point. So all I've done is I measure off from the wall. I get my mark. I wanna translate that mark down here to 67 and a half. In order to do that, I need to know the middle of this board. So we're gonna measure this one off at 22. Use my trusty marker here. And I'm gonna put my mark on my tape. Just because I'm a visual kind of guy, I'm gonna measure that off. And I'm gonna slide this to 67 and a half is what my mark says. from the wall. There we go. So that is where my shelf is going to go as far as that location. We've already determined that we're going to have the bottom of our shelf edge right on this decorative line here. That makes leveling everything really simple. We're going to be going with some simple shelf brackets that have been painted, just a matte black, just to make things simple here. We don't need to have a whole lot going on here as far as support, okay? But we do want to have it on the wall. We need to find the stud. So just like in the TV video, we're going to just measure off from our wall plate because we've already determined. And if you need to see this trick, watch how to install the TV video and we'll show you how to find your studs. We're going to measure off all the red squares of where the wood is. And you'll notice in a quick hurry here that they don't line up with my lumber. So I've got one here. That's a good spot. I got one here which would, could work, I'm gonna have one here. Now, that means I'm gonna have a <laughs> bracket, something like this. So once we measured this all out, we found that our brackets that are gonna go here and here are not exactly center of our shelf. But because our TV is mounted on a, a bracket where the TV can adjust, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the brackets directly into the studs, and then we're going to slide our shelf back and forth with the TV and see how close we can get to symmetrical as possible so that it's not that noticeable. At the end of the day, no matter what you do, you gotta put hardware into the wall. Don't use plugs. All right, I'm gonna just use this to measure my spot. So what I'm gonna do, that's my depth. Okay, we're gonna start with this. We're gonna just pre-drill with this bit. Make sure that we actually have a stud there. Nope. Ooh -hoo -hoo. We are going to make the adjustment here as well. We can double check. That's wood. Okay. So these are structural screw bits that we got and uh, they're brilliant. They come with their own head, so you don't have to worry about finding the right hardware. Now what we're going to do, now that we know that that's where our wood is, is line it up, it's the right height. All right? Just confirm that that's good. We're going to back it out, and we're going to remove the tape. And that little hole that I made that mark earlier, I'm just going to make it a little bit less visible. Okay, same thing over here. Now, this ends up being the secret here. Before we put the rest of our hardware in, we just wanna 
<coughs> do a quick level on this. And I'm finding that my right side is a little bit high. Just by visualizing this, I can tell I'm about an eighth too high. So my bracket come down to here. So because we have, we're going on level on the visual that's on the print, we don't have to use a level here. We're just going to make sure that we're on that line. I'm at eighth too high. Here we go. And I'm going to just confirm it now. Okay, so because we have a screw on each side, we're about the width of the stud. You want to go on an angle here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to just place this, push the bracket to the wall, and make sure, make sure you're hitting one. All right. There we go. So we tried going in straight. There's no wood there, so it just helps you find the stud. There we go. Done and done. Okay, here we go. All right. Now we're gonna take these structural screws. We use a Simpson Strong tie. I'm not sure what's available in your area, but they do make these for joist hangers. Awesome. Again, they come with the bit for the screw in the box. And we just screw from underneath to mount this so it doesn't gonna slide over. Make sure your screw isn't any longer than the actual substance that you're going through. So here we have a screw that's an inch and uh, three quarters. It's a two inch slab, so we're gonna be safe. So sometimes guys, when you're doing an install like this, keeping it simple is best, all right? Don't overthink it. Just try to find where's my structure and then figure things out from there. Again, this piece of wood we use is actually a little bit longer. We cut it down to size to fit. It works great. If you need any shelving in your house, again, find the studs, screw to lumber. All right, that's it for now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you have any questions about this sort of thing, ask us in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks a lot.